What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's Philip 20, and I'm back. Check it out. We've got another one of those module motors. Uh, this one, it, uh, I don't know, the bearings didn't seem like amazing. So I took the module off. I'm assuming the module works. The bearings are, was a little weak. I've oiled it with transmission fluid. Transmission fluid is the slickest thing on the planet. So what we've got is the same thing as the uh, wind turbines project. Link in the description below. So what I've got here is the, the motor that come from the fan that nearly killed me or it was coming after me. It should be showing right now. So this fan was really cool. It done a pretty good, cool job. Uh, and uh, the, I turned, like you can see the motor shafts are nearly gone. But why do I have two motors here? Well, I'm gonna face each other with these motors. This is a single phase 110 volt motor. This is a uh, three-phase type motor. I think it's three-phase type. If I had an oscilloscope, I could tell you, but I don't. But I am absolutely almost sure that this is a three-phase motor. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to attach this shaft to that shaft with this, some zip ties, uh, and we're going to strap these motors down and we're going to run it. We're going to see uh, this one's at 1075 RPMs, 1075 uh, RPMs with no load. And when this is uh, disconnected, it, the load will be very minimal. I mean, it, it spins pretty freely. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. But we're going to strap this down and if uh, it breaks it, we're going to find out a different way to strap it down. we got to figure it out. So, let's get started. Check it out. We've got two motors. This is uh, a motor just like the uh, wind turbine motors. And, uh, not sure exactly what was wrong with this one. To be honest with you, uh, these motors are abundant in the heating and air conditioning industry. You can get these for pretty cheap. Uh, you go to a heat and air conditioning company and you say, I want a bad modulating motor. You take the module off the back and you get this. Higher, amp higher horsepower is better. This is a half horsepower. This is a pretty good size motor. But they also got the three quarter horsepower, which is much better. Uh, bigger horsepower is better. It produces more electricity. And it's able to handle more amps without burning up. But what we're going to do is we're going to attach the shafts between these two. Why would I put a motor on one side to attach to the other side? Well, this motor you can plug in to your solar power, your wind turbine, uh, you know, water turbine, or uh, just plain old electricity. If you want a three-phase motor, I believe this is three-phase. Now, I wouldn't plug something in that's three-phase unless I checked on the oscilloscope that I got 60 hertz at the voltage that I'm trying to run at. I'm assuming that it will, but I can't promise it. So I needed a oscilloscope to test it. I don't have one. Sorry guys, they're expensive. But what we're going to do is we're going to make one that I believe is three-phase. And if it, anybody has an oscilloscope to let me borrow, I would be more than happy to ship it here and ship it back to you guys just to do some tests with them. So here we go. I'm going to mount this motor here and then I'm going to run this strap as tight as I can on the other side. That should be fairly tight. That ain't gonna work. So what I'll 
have to do is drive this in at an angle That's plenty strong enough for our testing project. Now I'm just going to trim that off. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So now I got both motors strapped on. And there's no possible way that that's uh, that's gonna spin the way it is, right? So what I decided to do was take a piece of metal and strap it to the the set screw part of the shafts. This is where the set screw mounts, so I can attach this like so. And I've got these real big zip ties, which probably hold a lot of uh, stress. Now, I'm not saying this is what you would do to make it work forever, but you can get the idea. You can use two fan hubs, weld them together, and then you can use set screws to attach them on either side. But this... is just a fast way to demonstrate what I'm talking about here. and it probably won't work, then I'll have to go back and do what I just said I would be a better idea. I guess that'd be making a, a longer video for you guys. So if I turn it on now, it'll just start flapping. I guess it wouldn't hurt though, would it? Now currently, this is 115 volts that's going in this motor. And it's not, a, not spinning, it don't have a lot of torque. Let's hook it up to 240 volts. that it's uh it's doing something okay so now what we can directly do is trim the scraps off of this thing and then we can start doing some tests This motor is now running at 1075 RPM, 1075 RPMs, and we can test the voltage real quick. Volts. 
140 volts. 140 volts. So definitely we've got three different phases of alternating current. At 140 volts at 1075 RPMs. So we could make a three-phase transformer to attach to this thing and uh, you know use it in different ways, you know, transform it from 140 down to uh, 120, you know, or so per circuit. Uh, but I'd like to have 240 volts per circuit, or 208 to be honest with you. I'd like to have 208 volts per circuit coming out of this thing here. So, what I would want to do is build a step up transformer to go from 140 volts to 208 volts, you know, 210 or so between each circuit. And that would provide me a really good foundation for three phase 240 volt power output. So, I'm converting alternating current single phase to alternating current three phase but the power output is lower so what I would I'm gonna end up having to do is put a transformer right here that's three phase to add to uh, the power the voltage coming out so we step up the voltage to 208 volts and then we'd have something we could use three phase power with pretty neat this is Phil 20 with solar power, electricity, and electronics. Peace out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.